What's going on guys, it's Jeff Farina. Just giving you a quick capture session uh, with Ellie Noir on the Xbox 360. This is one of the cases called Manifest Destiny. This is actually toward the end of the case. It's, it's a fairly long case, uh, and it's the last case of the Vice desk throughout the game. You go through the different desks. And I just wanted to record this to actually show you more or less. Um, this is one of the more action-oriented I would say cases that I've come across so far in the game. I'm not fully done yet. I know this game's been on for a while, but this game is really not a lot about shooting. It's more about being a detective and solving crime, and finding clues, etc., etc. So this is definitely one of the more action-involved cases out there. And I just wanted to give you a quick run-through of about the last 10-12 minutes or so uh, of this case. <laughs> Tell Courtney. B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Polar Bear Ice Company. Really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Juicy, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. I think you're wrapped up in this thing. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Radio. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here.
for it after them! APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that list. APB on the car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Roy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap... No but. This is more important. I said we bust in there and find the goddamn one. You're in interview, too, Phelps. There's a quack in there with him. What gives? Beats me. Sheldon, is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does. Because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? 
Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, lad. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun, keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. And there you have it, achievement unlocked, the vice desk is done, the story has taken a wild twist, and oh, I've been demoted to the arson desk, which is the last desk in the game. Thanks for watching everyone, I will take some more capture videos along the way.